Hey everyone, this is Dieworm, and today I bring you more Last Epoch news. Enjoying Last Epoch content? Consider subscribing. We have a single topic today, and that is stash tabs. And to be clear, I will be doing a fair bit of speculation, and this is very much a piece with my opinion and predictions regarding stash tabs and monetization. These are not facts. That being said, let's dive into the video. As soon as you start playing any action RPG for around 100 hours, you notice storage becomes an issue. Some games handle storage rather well with a bunch of auto sort features and auto assemble features like Grim Dawn. Other games charge you real money for buying additional stash tabs, which are absolutely required in order to play the game properly, like Path of Exile. And Last Epoch until now has 6 stash tabs, purchasable with in-game gold, including a recently added search functionality. With this in mind, let's read the post from Sarno, which immediately kicks off with the following highlighted statement. This post describes features coming to Last Epoch in a future update. While some of these may require that in-game currency be spent to unlock them, the below features will not be microtransactions MTX, and will not require real-world money to obtain. Before even getting into what the features are in Last Epoch, Sarno makes a direct reference to Path of Exile where buying stash temps is common and referred to as MTX or microtransactions. I myself have bought I think around 10 premium stash tabs, 2 quad tabs and all the several available dedicated tabs, like the one for uniques, for maps, for delve, for essences and for fragments. I think I spent around $100 or something on this. My current playtime in Path of Exile however is at least 1000 hours and that game is free to play so I think this is perfectly fine. Even with spending 50 bucks I was able to properly play PoE and game with mapping, delving and boss killing. I would argue Path of Exile has some of the best consumer friendly monetization out there for a free to play game that offers endless replayable content and something new to do every 3 months. And I have gladly played the devs some money for that absolutely amazing game. Equally I would have willingly bought additional stash tabs in last epoch if this would have been the route 11th hour games wanted to go. Sure the game itself costs money I understand, but you get at least 6 tabs out of the gate which is enough to keep you playing for at least 100 hours, maybe more. I'm at 500 hours right now and stash storage is inconvenient but not as punishing as the default amount in Path of Exile. If after the first 100 hours in the last epoch I would have to spend another 50 bucks to keep me going for another 300 hours, potentially 1000 hours, that still seems like a really fair deal to me, despite the game having an initial purchasing price. But this isn't what is happening. Instead, Sarno specifically mentions that this monetization in Last Epoch will at least not be concerning stash tabs. Or well, he doesn't mention stash tabs specifically, but he mentions the below features, which are stash tabs. Theoretically, 11th hour games might release a stash tab dedicated to uniques and charge for that with real world money, but given this update I would find this highly unlikely. Which really leaves me wondering how this game will be monetized after launch. There is a store button after all in the main menu. It doesn't do anything right now. What is a fact is that monetization will at least be there for cosmetics and pets and stuff. If you buy the game right now, you get a pet plus some store coins. The pet is purely cosmetic, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't pick up loot or something. And for sure cool cosmetic items will be released closer to launch or maybe after launch when you can buy them for special coins which can be bought for real world money. They could release paid DLCs like Grim Dawn does. I would like that, I'm not sure how that would work exactly with the idea of cycles which is the last epoch equivalent of leagues or seasons. This monetization remains a bit of a mystery and I did some inquiry at 11th hour games Sarno in particular, but at this moment in time they're not ready to extensively discuss monetization. Which makes sense from a developer standpoint, as the game isn't even released yet and statements about monetization are always microscopically dissected by the community under heavy scrutiny. So until you're absolutely sure what your monetary position will be, it is probably best to refrain from too many statements. We should keep in mind as well that Last Epoch isn't even released yet. There's no way of knowing how many copies will sell around launch which directly determines the cash influx into 11th hour games which probably impacts their monetization strategy. Now let's get into the details of what we are actually getting in terms of stash tabs in patch 0.7.8. We can buy additional stash tabs for gold. This could mean and I think it does that you could buy additional stash tabs on top of the 6 tabs currently available. 
So this would mean we get more than six stash tabs. How much more is totally unclear, but the pictures do give some indication. Assuming this second layer of sub tabs are actually stash tabs, and this picture in particular suggests as much, that would mean that we get at the very least 12 stash tabs, double the current amount. Honestly, that is probably enough for me right now at this stage of development. I've currently sorted my six stash tabs into two tabs for unique and set items and then four tabs for idols per class because those are such build defining items and hard to find sometimes. What I'm lacking is a bunch of tabs with well crafted or found items which is very inconvenient honestly. And as more unique and set items make their way into the game six tabs is just very little. Looking at the new pictures though and seeing that at least 12 tabs are there potentially that is absolutely amazing news. Cherry on top of all this are the features that are inspired by Path of Exile premium stash tabs. But Last Epoch honestly outperforms their bigger brother. Let's see what you get when it comes to stash customization. First, you can color the tabs. That is available in more games. Then you can put an icon for different tabs. As far as I know, choosing custom icons per stash tab is a unique feature. I haven't seen that before, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. You can rename stash tabs, which exists in PoE as well. These three features combined, color, icon and name, have a fourth to go along with it. You can assign tabs to a category. A category is basically a parent tab and all tabs assigned to a category appear when selecting that category, for example armor. And beneath the parent tab or category you can have multiple colored tabs with different names and icons to indicate different types of armor like helms, gloves, body armor, etc. You can reassign stash tabs between different categories as well by dragging them to another category. There are multiple search and quick view options to easily navigate this whole thing. It is in short absolutely incredible. Small side note, the game doesn't actually know what armor is. In other words, the game won't be able to automatically assign boots to the boots stash tab if you made one. This could be a feature later on, but it would require a significant amount of logic and labeling of each individual item in order to make this work. And once it's there, you might not even want to use it, because it might be hard to figure out where this auto stashing actually stores your items, especially if you have a unique boots for example, and a stash tab for uniques and one for boots. Where does this item go? This gets pretty complex real fast and as we like to say you're introducing a bunch of spaghetti into your code which is to be avoided at all times. I'm sure you guys are excited as I am for this new storage. Ladies and gents thanks so much for watching and making it to the end. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>